to a lot of decluttering videos out there on the internet, keeping our fast fashion is not such a bad thing, especially if you like it and it fits you. While I completely agree that it sometimes doesn't feel great to wear a garment that is in complete misalignment with your personal values, the most sustainable thing you can do with your fast fashion is love it and wear it and restyle it and take good care of it so that it stays in your closet and outside of landfills. How we care for our clothes is critical to their longevity, which is why I am so happy that today's video sponsor is True Earth. I have been working with True Earth for a while because it is my detergent of choice. It has been for a few years. They are a wonderful eco strip that I use for my laundry. If you're not familiar with True Earth, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them in the rest of the video. So today I'm going to share why we should continue to love and keep our fast fashion, even maybe purchase it secondhand if it appeals to you and how to do that mindfully. And of course, how we can take good care of it so that it lasts a really long time. Before jumping into the tip, I want to touch on a couple of quick points around fast fashion. The first is why is it so problematic to continue discarding our fast fashion? A couple of things are happening. The first is that the hyper fast trend cycles are encouraging people to shop one week and discard the next, literally. People are wearing clothes for like half the amount of time that we were only 15 to 20 years ago and clothing is being discarded within a few weeks of purchase. So it ends up a lot of times in landfills in other parts of the world that do not have the infrastructure to handle all of this excess waste. The other problem that's happening with fast fashion is a little bit of a double-edged sword because it's coming from people who are starting to become aware of how problematic fast fashion is. And like me, I find it sometimes difficult to wear clothing that doesn't align with my personal values. However, rather than having that knee-jerk reaction and discarding clothes that no longer align with your personal values, the more sustainable option is actually to keep those clothes and wear them and keep them out of landfill. The more clothes we keep out of landfill, the less our charity shops and donation centers are going to be overloaded with this excess waste. The other piece that I think is really important to remember about fast fashion is that there are still humans making these clothes. The industry has not figured out how to automate every single step of garment production, no matter how hard they try. So there are still people sewing the seams and creating these fast fashion garments. Even though they aren't really being made to last, I think it's still really important that we keep the human factor in mind when we are deciding whether or not to discard a fast fashion garment. So I really think that keeping our fast fashion, getting creative with it, learning how to take care of it, but all of this is a way to help remember and honor the people who made those clothes. Finally, opinions will differ on this, but I believe there is absolutely absolutely nothing wrong with shopping fast fashion secondhand. Keep shopping it with longevity in mind. So whether it suits your lifestyle, your body, your personal style, and if you can put the time in to mend and maintain it. The whole point of shopping fast fashion secondhand and being okay with it is that, again, it keeps this fast fashion out of landfills. And it also helps you perpetuate the mindset that we don't always have to buy and discard and buy and discard. It kind of gets us out of that cycle and helps us to appreciate and value our clothes and shop and dress ourselves with longevity in mind. Some of my favorite and most loved pieces are fast fashion that I bought secondhand, namely my blazer that everyone asks me about. It's a Zara blazer and I found it on Poshmark for $20. It was made in Spain, it's fully lined and it's in great condition and continues to be in great condition. So that that's just an example in my closet. Maybe you have a few in your own. Okay, now we can get into the tips on making your fast fashion last. And a lot of these will go to all of the kind of clothing you have in your closet, but in particular, fast fashion. So the first, which you've heard me say many times on this channel, but it's probably one of the most important and easiest to do, and that is to launder with care. The easiest way to do this is to read your labels carefully, but also to choose your detergent detergents carefully. Harsh chemicals will wear down clothes a lot faster, even if it's made out of polyester, which is a fast fashion staple. So this brings me to our wonderful sponsor for today, True Earth. True Earth Eco Strips are hypoallergenic, paraben-free, and biodegradable. So they are easier on your clothes. I've been 
been using True Earth strips for the past two to three years. I brought them to Europe with me and traveled around with them because they are so slim and easy to pack and easy to use. Like you can even tear them in half if you need to do hand washing or if you don't have laundry facilities. I love how you could just tear a strip in half and it dissolves completely in your sink or your little wash basin. They're fantastic. So not only is this really useful for travel, but it's also really useful if you need to just hand wash or spot clean garments as well. My go-to scent is fresh linen. Like I do this every time. Like I really wish you could actually smell them. True Earth also has a subscription program so you can always stay on top of your laundry. I don't know about you, but I love knowing that I have a nice solid supply of these things so that I don't run out. And I also have a discount code. It is Belltempo and it will give you 10% off. I will leave all of the details and the link in the description box below. My next tip is around fabrics. And since polyester is a fast fashion favorite because it's so durable, I realized that pre-treating these polyester garments before they go into the wash is really good for stain removal and just keeping them looking fresh longer. For treating stains or just freshening up a garment, I'll do a vinegar or and water soak beforehand, or you can pre-treat it with your favorite sort of stain remover, and then I throw it in the laundry with my True Earth Eco Strips and do a regular wash. Pre-treating is kind of a game changer for me, actually, so don't skip that step in keeping your fast fashion fresh. I also wanted to touch quickly on viscose, which is a fabric that can easily shrink. So hand washing viscose garments is probably the best way to keep them lasting longer. Sometimes fast fashion garments aren't made to be as color fast as other garments. So do a little water test in the sink or in a wash basin to make sure that the colors of your garment don't run. A water test is also really good in case the tags have been cut out of the garment and you don't know what the material is. Doing a little water test on a more inconspicuous part of the garment will help to see if the garment puckers or wrinkles or goes a little bit wonky. Then you know you have to be a little bit more careful with this fabric and perhaps hand wash it, make sure you've got a steamer handy and make sure you're washing it in cool water as well. As I mentioned at the top of this video, because garment professionals don't have the time or the mandate to create clothes that have solid and durable construction, take your fast fashion finds to a tailor or a seamstress stress or DIY it yourself if you are talented and brave and amazing. I am not, so I go to my local <laughs> tailor or seamstress and get the garment reinforced before you start wearing it. So look for or add reinforcements at the seams on pockets or around pockets, reinforce buttons, reinforce the seams around zippers and turn the garment inside out and see if there are any seams that look like they've been unfinished or that may Maybe they just need some finishing and reinforcements. Pretty much anywhere where the garment is going to experience a lot of stress, which is typically at the seams or around pockets and hardware, this is a really good place to give a little bit more love before you start wearing the garment. Because it's so easy once these things start to fall apart to think, oh well, it's a fast fashion piece, it's not gonna last anyway, or it's a fast fashion piece, I didn't pay much for it, and I bought it secondhand so I can easily discard it. By putting that investment in up front, it's also making us more accountable and feel like our clothing has more value. It's like a little bit of a mind game, but it's worked for me in the past. This also makes you feel like you have a very high quality garment that you got for a lot less, which is also a pretty good feeling. And while we're on the topic of sewing, again, if you are a DIYer or just a sewer in general, amazing. If you're not, a seamstress or a tailor is an incredibly affordable way to make alterations and change your fast fashion pieces so that they suit a new lifestyle, a new body, or a changing style. Even if it's as simple as changing a hemline or adding elbow patches or, you know, just letting down a hem or letting out a hem or a waistline, if that's available. A lot of fast fashion garments don't have the seam allowance that they used to, but the older ones definitely do. I found these pants. They are Zara secondhand at a market in Rome and they're a little bit big on me, but I've got seam allowance on the bottom, which is fantastic. And I also know that because I'll get them taken in, I'll ask the seamstress to leave fabric if possible so that if I need to let them out again, I will have that option. Of course, this channel wouldn't exist if I didn't bring up this next point. Probably heard it a thousand times 
times already, but try remixing your fast fashion items with higher end or vintage items. A really cool style and outfit always seems to come in my opinion from a little bit of outfit tension. So when you buy your fast fashion, just because maybe you paid a little bit less for it or because it is fast fashion, doesn't mean that it can't be styled with these more elevated and really luxurious pieces that you already have in your closet. And as usual, if you are shopping fast fashion secondhand, I already mentioned this a little bit at the beginning, but I cannot stress it enough, always shop with longevity in mind. I have a dedicated video of the questions that I find are really helpful to ask myself when considering a purchase, so I will leave it up here for you. But purchasing with longevity in mind, no matter how much we're paying it or no matter the providence of the garment, is a really great way to maintain your slow fashion principles and only make purchases that actually will stand the test of time in your closet. Of course, we do all make mistakes, but I think when we make these more considered purchases from the top at the beginning of the whole buying process, it really gives us more of an investment and a greater sense of value in our clothing, which means hopefully we'll keep it longer, we'll make more efforts to get creative with it, and we'll keep it out of landfill longer as well. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching if you're still here. A huge thank you to True Earth again fantastic True Earth strips. I have that discount code and any information you need in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, wonderful rest of your day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Ciao!